Hi Leslie. Yo. Why don't you explain to us briefly what we're planning on doing here? Well, the basic idea is to try to get like a wall of tomato here. So what we're going to do is use a pot like this. Damn it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And then we've also, maybe we've got the chance to be able to collect water from the runoff and feed that into the pipe system. That's why Leslie initially chose the, the PVC pipe. And all this is, is um, it's a 40 mil uh, PVC. It looks like, uh, what have we got here? Yeah, it looks just like a yeah, 40 mil PVC. Yeah, and some basic tools for this project include a measuring tape, um, I've just got my Swiss Army knife here, which actually has got a saw on it. Okay, so just a saw that just to use to cut the, the pipe. And then it's also got a, a little punch on it, which we can use to make holes in the pipe. Okay, so that, that's what we'll use to make the holes in the pipe. Some string and um, yeah, that's it for now. Cut that pipe, measure it to size. And what we're doing here is we're going to use this pot okay, as a support. It's going to have two functions. It's, we're going to grow tomatoes in there and allow the tomatoes to creep up the pipe as well as a support plinth. So it's a temporary support plinth which we will fill with soil and measure out. What we did is we took the diameter of this pipe which is an outside diameter of about 45 mils and we measured that on this pipe and just cut out a simple hole because we do not have a connector and then what we've got to do is simply push this pipe into there and that gives us the support okay so what we're doing now is every 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters we are making a hole in this pipe and this is our so-called cross beam and what the reason we're doing this is so that we can irrigate our tomato plants and we'll show you how we're going to do that later but what what we're using here is a basic tool a Swiss army knife um, the best very, tool ever very handy very good okay Okay, so here what we're doing is we're just simply measuring out on the opposite side of the pipe. So on the top side of the pipe, what we're doing now is we're just cutting some grooves into the pipe in order to to hold our string that we are going to hang or tie to the pipe just so that the string doesn't slide around. Okay, we will just do a little bit of a trick. We're just measuring the length of string that we need to cut per piece. And then what we're going to do is pre-tie all the string onto all of these places along here. Just, we're just making slip knots so it's easy. It's a matter of just slipping it over and pulling it tight. Okay, now you can see our grooves in action. That is just going to help us hold that string in place. That's basically what we're looking for. Um, we've got some pots at the bottom where we're going to plant our creepers, such as tomatoes. And each and every one of these is a little hole in it, which we will water in this side, put water in this side. Water will flow down and uh, run down the string and feed the tomatoes. Are you happy, Leslie? Yeah, completely. Okay. Using old pots from the garden 
and we've taken all those plants out, as you can see over here. And now what we're doing is we're just reusing the soil, mixing it up a bit, getting some good air in there. And, uh, and yeah, that's what you're doing. So, great. So just to end it off, thanks to Leslie as well for the idea. Something he's been wanting wanting to do for a few months now. Yeah. And uh, this is good. This is what we call an awesome little gardening project. And all we have to do now is just plant the seeds and then we wait. And as you can see four days ago, on the other gardening project video, we planted peppers, tomatoes, and beans and cucumbers, as well as basil. And they are already starting to sprout. So this is great news. Awesome. You can see, see all these little guys starting to sprout up. Very cool. Okay.